Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to easily install OTT Navigator Live TV Player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store. Just go to search on your device or go to the App Store and here in the search start typing Downloader. And yep, here it is, already popped out for us at the bottom, so there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app. Click on Downloader, and that's the application which you need to get to your device. However, that's not it, we still have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to Settings. Here they are, that button with a gear icon. Then scroll down, go to My Fire TV, open it. And here you'll we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And now at the bottom, as you can see, for me it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case, in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to Install Unknown Apps, and here turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device, and here we already have the downloader app. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they got a great app for Fire Sticks or pretty much any other device, be it an Android TV, your mobile phone, laptop, or tablet, they do have an app for all these devices. They are super fast and not expensive. In application, you just connect to any server, let's say United States, and from the moment you connect, all your internet traffic is going to be encrypted, so nobody is going to be able to track you online or snoop on you, and your internet provider will not be able to know what apps you are downloading or what videos you are watching online. So if you want to stay out of trouble online, I do have a special offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free. Which is an amazing deal. So go get those 4 months for free, and then let's use the loader safely. So now let's open up the loader. On the left side menu, make sure to select home, and then in the search bar, you have to enter that link, which you can see on the screen, which is ottnav.com. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, because if you make any mistakes, the link is not going to work. Then just click on go, and now in a couple of seconds, a website is going to load. So yeah, here it is. And what we have to do here is click on the update word. So it's going to be a link to update TV website. So let's click on it. Now it should be loading. Yep, here it is. And now what's important, we have to click on that big download button. Let me show you. So yeah, here you can see we have a big download button. That's the one that we need. But also here's a fake download button right here. That small download button is just a part of the ad that is running right here on the website. So do not click on the small download button. Once again, make sure to click on that big, huge button. So you click on it. And then a new web page is going to open, and in a couple of seconds, the download is going to start. Usually that does not take long. Here, click on Install in the right bottom corner. And then, after the app has finished installing, do not click on Open yet, instead press on Done. Because here, we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore. So click on Delete, and then delete once again. Now we're good to go to the list of apps on our device. So let's do it, here it is, click on it. Then scroll down, and here you'll see the ODT Navigator, which we just downloaded. What I recommend you to do now is, of course, click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, the application is always going to be at the very top of your app list. So here it is, at the very top. Once again, never forget to use a VPN when streaming some content online, just to stay out of trouble. And now let's open the ODT Navigator app. So what you have to do here, obviously you need to enter or add a playlist to your application. So let's click on that option. And there you can enter the usual M3 URL link, which you can obtain from your live TV provider. You enter the link, click on apply. 
then click on apply once again and the playlist is going to appear in your application. Of course, alternatively, you can also use the XM code. Here it is, you would select the XM code option. Here you enter the link to your provider and then login and password, which are provided to you by the Live TV service. And then just click on apply. Also, if you had a premium version of this app, you would be able to add playlists from your phone. But since it's just a free version of the application, that option is not available. And then you can also change the visual style of application and change some settings. You can go to extended settings here and there is quite a bunch of stuff you can change. For example, you can enable child's mode or parental controls so your kid wouldn't be able to access the app without your consent. However, some of the settings are locked for the premium app version only, which is paid. And pretty much that's it. That's the easy way to get OTT Navigator to your Fire Stick. See you next time. Bye-bye.